Hi Love is Ellen, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to be talking about my top 8 current go-to moisturizers. Now I have dry to normal skin, but there are some for my oily combination girls thrown in there as well. So before we get started, I really would love for you to scroll down and hit that subscribe button, share this video with somebody you think might like it, and let's do it. Moisturizer time. Um, literally, this is one of those that I get asked about a lot. Now, for me, a lot of these moisturizers are fantastic, but I have several that I use depending upon how my skin feels. So, A, let's start out with my first point. You do not need to spend a ton of mo money on moisturizers. Uh, it's just my opinion and a well-researched one. Moisturizers are there to be occlusive, to add, uh, to hold in moisture, to hold in that hydration into the skin. Um, a moisturizer is not going to do this revolutionary thing for you. So it's not going to be single-handedly um, the reason why pigmentation, you know, goes down. It's single-handedly not going to help heal your acne or heal your skin barrier. So please do not spend a ton of money on moisturizers. Yes, some of these moisturizers I use do cost more money than I'd like to spend, but I will give you my reasons as we go through. My second point is, is that even if you have one moisturizer that you love and you use it day and night and summer and winter, just know that that is totally okay. And if you want to, what I do is I love my heavier moisturizers sometimes during the day. I just use a lot less. So really think about the amounts that you're using and how you can benefit from using those amounts on your skin. And third, if you guys do not want to use a moisturizer, don't worry about it. You don't have to. So say, for example, you use an oil at night instead of a moisturizer. Great. If that works for you, fantastic. If you want to mix a moisturizer and an oil together, fantastic. Um, if you only want to use a hydrating SPF during the day, awesome. That is totally fine. So just, just know that really start listening to your skin. As I always say, listen to your skin because it will change day to day. All right. So let's get into one that I have been using a ton and it is a super affordable one and this actually is perfect for all skin types especially as we go into summer a lot of these are going to be very much this spring summer based skin this is the good molecules silicone free priming moisturizer you have heard me talk about this before it is gorgeous it is for all skin types it is lightweight hydrating but it also obviously as the name states it acts as a primer um, I have been known to hear from some of you guys that it helps with pores it definitely helps with longevity of your makeup the only problem is is that you do need an SPF over it so for example if you're using an SPF over this kind of priming moisturizer that, those benefits are really taken away I never recommend putting an SPF on before a moisturizer, but you know what? If that's what you want to do with a moisturizer like this, that is a priming moisturizer, try it out. See how it goes. See how it feels. Just give the adequate time for it to dry down between each layer, which is about, I don't know, three to five minutes. But this is such a gorgeous moisturizer. Um, and then I've talked a lot of these about, I've talked a ton about a lot, all of these, um, but this Skin Fix Barrier Lipid Peptide Cream is one I use when I'm feeling oversensitized. It is a heavier cream, um, but it is full of ceramides, uh, lipid protectors. It's really great for a damaged skin barrier or one that is sensitized or one that has been, you know, overexposed to sun. Um, it is a beautiful moisturizer that I have a tendency to use more at nighttime. I don't necessarily know if I would recommend this for oilier skin, but definitely for more of that dry to normal skin type. It is gorgeous. I love, you can talk, use this a lot, a pump at the top, just like your drunk elephant. So it stays nice and fresh and sanitize as long as you clean off the top um, it has peptides in it. it has a seaweed hyaluronic acid so that is a vegan hyaluronic acid um, and then it also has a skin lipid complex which again is all about repairing that moisture barrier so it's really great for sensitized skin especially acne prone things like that because has no fragrance etc and then this one I actually talked about a long time ago. I really don't find myself gravitating towards this. And the only reason why is because it's in my studio and not in my bathroom. I should probably bring it upstairs. Um, this is the Multibiotic 
um, from Inky List. Now this is full of probiotics. Again, this is going to be great for all skin types. If you're dehydrated, I would recommend to use a more hydrating SPF over it, but this is a probiotic moisturizer. Um, it is very quick to sink into the skin. It's light, it's airy, it goes on beautifully with all of my SPFs. The price point obviously you can't beat. Um, the ingredients are not bad at all, um, but it's just kind of tiny, but you don't need very much. And honestly, the skin feels very refreshed after you put it on. It is definitely oily skin approved, um, but it is for all skin types. This is just so lightweight and feels really good under makeup. I don't necessarily use this at night. Again, I like to kind of lather it up at night, you know, really put on that hydration. So this is more of that daytime moisturizer for me. This one is uh, one I use often. This is the Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream. Um, I really, really enjoy this. It is definitely more for normal to dry to dehydrated skin. You can tell I've used so much. I need a new one. I love it. Um, you know, this is definitely not for your oilier skin or combination skin. I use this more at night or I use a little bit of it during the day. I just take like just the smallest amount that's on this tip and I then tap it all over the face and I, you know, put it in and then I put on my SPF. Um, it is really uh, beautiful. I love that it has their how to say three complex in it. So it has a lot of antioxidants in it. Um, it has basically their essence in it, but it does leave the skin just almost ethereal looking. Absolutely. I love to use it at night as well. Just the skin, just when I wake up, just looks so glowy, ethereal, beautiful, luscious. All right. Now this one is from Milk. This is the Vegan Milk Moisturizer. Um, this is definitely a heavier cream. Um, obviously more normal to dry dehydrated skin. Um, it is something that I will use during the day-ish. I will more likely use this at night. It does play well under makeup. Again, just use a little bit less. Um, it does play well with SPF, um, but this is definitely more of a hydrating moisturizer. The ingredients are really beautiful. Um, I think it's very well made. I just wish it came with some sort of spatula, but just make sure your hands are clean whenever you dip into any of these types of potted moisturizers. Um, but it is definitely on the heavier side, but it has like no scent to it, obviously, because there's no um, fragrance in any of this. It would be great for uh, really kind of uh, extremely dry skin that if you are a milk person, if you love this brand, they did a really nice job with this moisturizer. And then this one you saw me talk about. This is the brand new one from Pharmacy. It's the Daily Greens. It's an oil-free gel moisturizer. Now, this is definitely more for my oily to combination normal skin. I can use this. It controls oil over the day. It has a, a lot of great kind of uh, skin loving ingredients in it. And it is a, it's like this lightweight barrier that you put on the skin. Um, it goes great under makeup, but it is, I can use it because I use a hydrating primer, I mean a hydrating SPF on top of it, um, but it's beautiful. Again, I really think that it'd be great for people with oily to nor combination skin because it does control oil throughout the day, but it still doesn't leave it stripped or feeling heavy or feeling like it's like just pulling all the moisture out of the skin. And again, it is that gel kind of base. It's very similar, but a, a little bit more like cleaner. It's very similar to the water cream from Tatcha. It has that same kind of feeling to it. All right. So for my last two, um, this is actually a brand that I don't know if you guys have ever heard of. I talked about a little bit. It's called Codex Beauty. Just so you know, their packaging is actually not plastic. So if you are really into green beauty and really thinking about sustainability, this brand is for you. They have a beautiful physical scrub as well, part of the line. Um, but this is their day cream. This is going to be great for all skin types except for extremely oily um, the reason uh, by oh their packaging is not packed is not plastic is what I was saying it's actually made out of sugarcane um, so they're a really source of, like responsibly sourced and ethical company um, I like the pump in this I think it's really a beautiful moisturizer it's extremely clean probably the cleanest Again, I use it in quotation marks because that is, you know, a term that can be subjective, um, but it is probably the cleanest out of all of the brands that I have said here today. Um, but it is 
unscented. It smells like a, there's, it smells like there's a, like a light citrus, but there's not. Um, it is a beautiful moisturizer. Again, it's, if you want to really, you know, support a company that is doing great things in the world and has great ingredients in it, I think you'd really love it. All right, so to round this out is the Versed Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream. This is very similar in the way I use the pharmacy one. Um, I picked this up at Target. It is extremely lightweight. It has a green tea, so it has a bunch of antioxidants, antioxidants in it as well as aloe. So it's going to be very soothing. It's gonna be very calming. It's also going to be very beneficial and appropriate for more of that acneic skin type or that oily skin type. Now again, I can use this but I just want to keep reiterating that I can use some of these moisturizers, especially going into summer, because I use a more of a hydrating uh, SPF on top of it. So this is just more of that extra hydration step before I go into my SPF. Um, this sinks into the skin probably one of the quickest besides the um, priming moisturizer from Beauty uh, from Good Molecules. It is extremely well uh, absorbing and it really plays well under makeup. I just think this would be a great kind of day or night for anybody that is normal to oily skin and that doesn't want that kind of over heavily feel, over heavy feeling of a moisturizer. This is one to look out for and again the price point's really nice. So those are the moisturizers that I am using right now. I hope that helps you make your selection for your skin type. You know I like to talk about all skin types on my channel, um, but I tried to also go throughout all the price points to make sure that you knew, again, I do not advocate spending a ton of money on your moisturizers. Spend those money in those serums. That is where money is best spent. So thank you all so much for being here, and I will see you all in the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, loves.